um, there is but um, the training program log speaker is suspended 2.0 meter below ceiling by two cables um by two cables that are um thirty degrees from vertical. I just forget to write down that this is question number three um of chapter five college physics um by night okay vertical what is the tension in the cables So if you see the question properly, the tools that there is a training program loudspeaker is just suspended 2.0 meter. So here's the ceiling. Um, and then these are two cables. Um, and if you can see, this is the mass, which is 20 kilograms. Um, so, and the way that it is suspended, we can assume this distance. This is 2.0 meters. And this is cable 1. So, you can write C1 and then C2. And then here is these will be your angles which is 30 degrees okay um, so here's what um, what our diagram should look like um, let's draw a free fall diagram for this a free fall will be since they are hanging there should be a tension forwards which is upwards there should be a um, a weight force which should be downwards. This is your y, that will be your x. You also got your angles 30 degrees from both sides, right? Um, also, this will if you this is your t1, right? This is cable one, right over here, cable one, and since this is your t1, that's your t2, right? This is this will be your ty. This will be your t1x. This will be your t2y. This will be your t2x. Right? Okay. Now you can just draw and then complete your diagram. So we got our everything up. Now we just solve it for our tension. Right? Everybody can see it. Um. Okay, now all we got is um, now all we got is um, tension. We have to find that. Um, and since if we just look our diagram, um, we got we got. At x axis, we just have to sum up all the forces. So we got u1x, we got t2x, um, that's all we got for the x axis. And I also forget to mention here that since there are just two forces, um, so it will be an equilibrium and the f0 will be 0. f0 will be 0. So let's do everything up here. So sum up of all the forces acting on the x-axis, um, that will be um, 
T1x, negative T1x since it's on the negative x axis plus T2x is equals to 0. T1x is equals to T2x. This is the first equation that we got. Light over here. Um, let's do the other equation. So let's just sum up all the forces on the y axis. Okay. We got our tension T1y, T2y, and then we got our weight. Um, as you can see right up here, so it's T1y, T2y, and then your W. So let's just see. So T1y plus T2y negative W. Since your W is in the um, negative Y axis, that's, uh, that's how I put negative up here. Um, let's solve this one. Okay, so negative W is equals to zero, and T one Y, um, T one Y plus T two Y is equals to zero. Do W, sorry. Okay, now we got our equations. That is our main equation that we have to work on, and this is our main equation if you are following that we have to work on. Um, now everything since we done everything up, I'm just gonna write again my equation so everybody can see it clearly. So my equation was t1 was t1x is equals to t2x and the second was t1y plus t2y is equals to w. Okay, so let's see. So um, the first equation tells me that t1 is equals to t2. That means I can just put my either T1 or T2 in the second equation and solve for one of the T's. That will be really easy because if you actually see the question, they ask us that what is the tension, what is the tension in the cables? They say what is tension? Tension, the means is they're just asking about the total tension which occurs in the cables. Um, and if I can substitute my equations, I can easily solve for one of the T's. Um, and since my angles are same, which is right up here, so whatever the T will be here, the T will be same as up here. Okay? So let's solve for one of the t's then. So this will be if I just substitute t2 is equals to t1 or t1 is equals to t2. It will be something like this. Okay. Since these are now both equal, I can just add them. And since I need to find my t2, y, I'll just do something like this. But look, what I'm messing up here, I didn't put up the angles yet, right? But I don't know that my T1Y was sine theta. Um, I need to find my T1Y, and this is the hypotenuse. Since, um, since I need to find all the forces acting on the y-axis, that will be my hypotenuse, that will be my opposite. Sine theta is equals to opposite over hypotenuse. And here, my hyp will be T1y, my op will be um, other one, other side, which I just say like x. And then I can just solve for sine theta, right? I can just take the angle of sine theta because I got my all y axis at sine theta. Okay, so here, um, here if I just delete it up and then I put t sine theta equals to w because y value was sine theta. Okay, so I put sine theta. And you can do the same step initially and then just follow up consistently all over until you get your solution. Okay? So let's solve for T then. W over 2 sine theta. Um, w is just your mg. Okay? So T is equal to your mass was 20, your gravity was 9.8, and then your 2, and then your 
sign will be, um, let's see. Um, Solid by the character. Um, there we go. So 20 into 9.8 um, divided by 2 divided by sine of 60. Um, and this gives me one thing. Um, 96. Okay, um, since I have um, the angle same, I have the same angles on both of the y axis, I will sum up the, those angles and then I'll just put it up because I need to find the tension in the two cables, that is why. If I'm supposed to find the tension in just one of the cables, I will definitely go for 130 degrees or just one. But right now, I need to find the whole tension in the overall process, so I will just add up my angle, which will be 30 plus 30, 60 degrees. Okay, so here I will go for 29.8 over 2 sine of 60 degrees, which is T2 approximately 130 Thank you guys. Thank you for watching the video. Hope you have a great day.